well, this is our physics subject final section because we already solved uh, i already solved five uh old exam so this is the the final one and uh yes so uh, i personally got the 990 in uh, subject gre in the 2016 and at the uh so i will try to solve uh, this question step by step and uh, suggest that uh, which method is good for you and uh, you can see how i approach this question okay so let's start so this form is 0177 form so we start from our first one which will follow in best illustrate the accelerations of Penduli. so you can think this is close to the simple harmonic oscillators at small angle okay so basically uh from a to e so from a to e uh, all you need to know is the answer so basically when you add the middle in the middle is the equilibrium point at the equilibrium point at the equilibrium point your velocity is maximum so your acceleration is close to zero your acceleration is close to zero so uh, your your accelerate your velocity is, is uh be the maximum and your tangential acceleration close to zero so the only the, uh, remaining is the normal so this is the first one and then when you at the at the begin uh, when you at the end points your velocity close to zero and then you a go to maximum so it's which is tangential so c should be the answer c should be the answer okay uh number two uh basically you have a there is a, co a coefficient of static friction between a small coin and a surface so you have this and the tunable rotates so omega is uh 33.3 times uh two pi per uh per minute uh per minute and what is the maximum distance uh, from center of basically you have r and uh, this force, this friction will give you the send, uh, well, will provide you to go to, uh, provide you to have a circular motion. So, umg just mv squared divided by r. So, your v is just this is the friction, this is the ma. So, a is v squared over r. So, your velocity is v, 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 uh, v to r, v to r. So your r is v squared over pi squared over r squared, and uh, oh sorry, okay. So we plug in our formula. Uh, let me let me close and uh, re rewrite again. So we have r squared mu g okay so and uh uh this v is just omega r right so omega r, r squared mu g okay so which tell you that the r is equal to mu g divided by omega squared okay and uh so this Omega is I say is this one times two pi over sixty. Uh basically this two is close to sixty, so I can assume omega is close to pi. So basically pi square mu g is point three times ten, so close to three over pi square. So it's close to one over three. So the answer is D. The answer is D. Hmm. Okay. So number three, the saddle lines. Uh, basically, this uh, saddle mass n, saddle line mass m, and the largest uh, planet man and the circular radius r. And let's ask about the period. Uh, so basically, this is the Kepler's third row, right? The t squared divided by r cubed is constant. So Kepler's third row tell you that uh, this is uh, proportional to r to the cube divided by two. So the uh, answer is D. Answer is also D. Okay, so number four. 
a uh, one-dimensional collision of two and colli collide with a particle mass and at rest and uh, it uh, uh, together right they together so they have three m and the v is to uh the, the moment of conservation tells you two mv divided by three is the total okay so what you ask is the total energy lost so this is your final energy minus your original energy Okay, so what is this? This is okay. So, uh, so this is the answer. <coughs> uh, we need to take an absolute value because I use the final minus the, uh, the original. So it's uh, minus two divided by three and times two. So the answer is one over three. One over three. This is uh let me see. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so in the work fraction of initial kinetic energy loss. Uh, your initial is this so your initial is mv squared and the final is 1 over 3 mv squared and the, the change so answer is c answer is c okay uh we finish this how about we go to the second okay okay so number five a three dimensional harmonic oscillator the total uh total energy Okay, so what for one harmonic oscillator? Basically, you have potential and the kinetic energy. So for one harmonic oscillator, the the contribution should be should be should be kT should be kT. So you have three dimensions. So the answer is three kT. So this is just uh, statistical mechanics. And number six said the ideal gas quasi static to twice to spherical so basically you have two you have pv diagram so one is the isothermal so isothermal so this is vv this is 2v and then the second is is the second is uh adiabatically okay so this is pv constant this is pv gamma which is constant and gamma usually is larger than one Okay, so ask about which uh, if the process the work done by WA, which of following is true. It's true. Okay, so uh, so all you need to know is that uh, uh, the PV gamma must be uh, less than uh, uh, the curve should be uh, should be uh, should be uh, downward uh, uh, should be, be uh, should be below the isothermal because the uh, adiabatically PV gamma uh, uh, adiabatically has uh, a, la a largest uh, has a large slope so basically uh, if you know this diagram then what it asks about is the is the work so the the area below the process is the work so you see the green this is work followed by the isothermal and uh, this is the work this this is the work by the isobaric so you see the isothermal is not uh, larger than isobaric and the larger than zero uh, larger than zero because the uh, volume is in, uh, increased so you're expanding so the so the the work done by the gas is larger is is greater than zero so this is d this is uh this is e you should choose e choose e okay and uh, basically, uh, 77, basically you have 2n, 2n, right? So they should have behaved the same. Right, they should behave the same. So uh, A, B, C, D, E, they all be, uh, be, uh, behave the same. But remember, uh, this is the magnetic field, right? This is the uh, uh, magnetic field. And uh, remember the magnetic field, well, N will go to S, right? N should go to S. So A is impossible, right? B 
because no, and to go to n, and d is also impossible. Also, d does not have the because we we know that line should have a symmetry, right? So d does not have symmetry from this side and this side. So remaining is b c and impossible for c, right? So the answer is e or e uh, b or e. But you know that the the, the magnetic field will try to uh, repose each others because they are both are n to n. So the answer should be b. Uh, it, it should not look like e, right? Because e doesn't have magnetic field spread out. So answer is b. Answer is b. Okay, so number eight, the positive Q is okay, the distance above infinite ground or as a total charge. Uh, this is uh, uh, easy, right? This is the image charge method. So you will have image charge minus Q. So the answer is just minus Q. Okay, five positive charge Q are arranged symmetry around second instance. Why is the magnetic of? So Q, 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 Q. Okay, so the answer is zero. This is by symmetry. Because you can check that this Q will, will have this electric field here, and this will be here, this will be here, this will be here, this will be here. So you basically you just uh, you just put put the, so, the, so you see the, uh, these five electric field will cancel each other. So by the symmetry, the answer is A. Okay. A ten is that three microfarad capacitance connected to the six microfarad capacitor. So you have C one is three, C two is six. Basically, you can compute its total. Uh, remember this is the series. So series you need to compute. You need to use C one times C two divided by C one plus C two. So basically two. Okay. So that means uh, the total energy storage is uh half C V square. Then you have times two times uh velocity is three hundred square. And then remember this is microfarad. Microfarad. Okay, so microfarad means uh microfarad means ten to a negative six. So the answer is point zero nine V. Okay. So the answer is A. The answer is A. Okay, so we solved 10 questions. I think it's enough for one video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.